Hi everybody and welcome. We're in my garden again and it's check-in time. It's been about a week since we checked in on my garden last and a couple things have changed in case you haven't noticed. I um I did address the weed problem. Well first I laid down a whole bunch of um leaves. So you can leaves on the bottom. And on top of the leaves came some of this paper. If you've been watching my videos then you'll recognize this is the paper that I use as a uh, as a tablecloth in my wormery. I've actually saved all the old ones from years gone by. And uh, now I've actually got a practical purpose for all of them. And then at the edge of each piece of paper to try to help prevent keeping the, uh, the wind from catching it and lifting it up and blowing it away, I've got some bricks laid down and um, in between the bricks I've got some grass clippings to try to just prevent any sort of edges of paper being exposed and being able to get caught and lifted up by the wind. So this is how I've um, decided to deal with the weed problems. Hopefully it works. And as I get more grass clippings, I'll be just covering up the paper almost entirely if possible. And that should all, all help with retaining moisture down in the soil as well. Now the other major visual obvious difference is the uh, the overhead um, framework so if you've um, if you've been following along I've been hinting at the fact that I'm gonna have something like this in place pretty soon and the reason I do this is because I uh, I use little things that are called tomato hooks and the tomato hooks grapple onto these overhead beams and then there's string tied onto those and the string comes down and then the, um, the tomatoes get clipped up onto that string and then the tomatoes can be supported all the way up, um, up to a very large height. And then even as the tomatoes start to want to grow even beyond that height, you can actually lower those strings down off the spooled up section where the string is uh, wound up onto the tomato hook and, uh, and drop the plant down if need be, if it wants to continue growing higher. I guess getting a little bit closer down, the, um, all the peppers, all the peppers that we had topped off not too long ago are all sprouting nicely. Got all kinds of little side shoots developing at the base of each leaf where we had um, topped off the peppers. So I'm very pleased to see how the, uh, the topped peppers are progressing. And um, other than that, all the other peppers are growing nicely as well. I guess one of my main motivations for getting the overhead trellis established was for these larger tomato plants that are starting to grow pretty good actually got some tomatoes growing as well but this plant is getting pretty large and staking it up with a piece of bamboo is becoming a bit impractical so i'm uh, definitely interested in switching over to supporting this plant using a tomato hook and with string and being able to run it up a uh, a string pretty soon and hold it up with tomato clips so this is my quick update not much more to report on today so uh if you enjoyed the video please give the video a thumbs up i always appreciate that and also consider um signing up to be a subscriber to my channel that's always appreciated as well so uh just a quick shout out to the people that helped with this number one is my buddy puma steve he was a beneficiary of a lot of these larger pieces of wood that i've got here so thank you steve and Attila as well. Um, my friend Attila was here today and he was the one who helped me build this. So without his help, I think it would have taken a lot longer, it would have been a bigger pain in the butt. So thanks a whole bunch to Attila as well. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate your help. So, all right, everyone. Thanks again. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you back here next time. Take care, bye now.